Hello there. Today, let's learn on how to make a reservation app. You may follow this simple step, and by the end of this video, you will be able to make a reservation app with no overlapping reservations. Let's get to it. For table settings, so basically the tables that I'm using are both called room and room booking. In room table are the list of all room space that's available for reservation. Columns for room table are as follows. Columns for room booking table are as follows. These are the setup that's been used for this tutorial. You may add any other columns as you see fit. Now let's get to data settings. For the data type settings, please take note on the following. Data type for room table. The key and label for this table is room column. Data type for room booking. The key and label for this table is ID, column with unique formula. That's a reference created using a virtual column called room selected. With the formula room being used. In the reference settings, I'm using room table as the source and data validity referencing room column from room table. Head over to room booking table. For both start and end, use the following expression. In data validity, use this expression for valid if. I've included this in the description down below. Basically what it does is, it will check on both dates and existing reservation that coincides with the room. Reservation will only be valid if the start is less than the end. And there's no existing reservation for the same room on the same date and time. For invalid value error, you may use the following expression. I've included this in the description down below. Basically, this will indicate if there's an issue with the reservation date and time. Now, for the result. Let's try to make a reservation for a room that's already reserved. Well, as you can see, there's already a reservation for this date and time. Now, if I were to make a reservation on that same date and time range, the app will inform that this room has already been reserved. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Appreciate the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.